to Nick. Wellspring. Finally. Now let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. You! Turn the fuck around! Don't tell me you rock the same threads as me! Oh, hell no! You totally ripped off my goddamn old sauce! This ends now! I want you to drop those clothes and burn them right here! You hear me, bro? I will not! If any fucking one is gonna drop any fucking thing, it's you! We should fucking drop your pants and shoes and shit and piss on them in the street. You're not so bound yourself. I hear you went through the low rent bin at Goulardi's looking for a cheap shimmy to put on your butt flap. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not one who came into Warney's and ordered gutter swill like some club and glug glug. In a no trim sweaty, no less. You'll be wanting to shut it now. Everybody saw you. You there, like a fucking bizarre urchin. Listen. You are getting on my nerves now. You really are. You're crossing a line you don't want to cross, buddy. That thing's not helping. That robot lane is yesterday's news, buddy. No! Dropped. Damn it. Didn't want to. Well, now he's dropped. Maybe just... Stop right there, Shinsane. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Shit. You hear that? You think you can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy! I'm here about the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was raised to the ground. She's a holog... I, I can't explain. I'm Walker. The last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger! Let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You wanna tell me what's going on here? 
Dagger was designed to stop the Authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project, but as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor seat for a while, but lately he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware, including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service, get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you. Are you familiar with nanotrite powers? I got a few tricks up my sleeve. I figured as much. And I figured you'd like some more. I happened to swoop up this message from a merc working for Clegg Clayton. Name of Crom. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. There's a whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is, these assholes shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp, or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. I got to the Merc first, and I persuaded him to give me the location of the Ark. You should go check it out. Thanks for the info. By the way, what happened to Krom? He'll live. He's on his way to Overgrown City. Might be gone a long while. Might never come back. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. Hey. Hey, missing up already. I got a great, nay, tremendous surprise for you all. Looky over there, dames and dudes. Here he is. The infamous wasteland tycoon Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. <laughs> yeah! I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dilla Walker! Uh, my latest golden goose, you stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> So, uh, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. <laughs> I'm 
guessing that I, myself, need no introduction. Now, you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clank Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. That's why you're here, of course. I know. Everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. Behold, Killadilla Walker! This is the innermost core of this high-powered city. This is the multi-watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire! My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon, power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, loosome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, things here will take a turn or two for the better. I'll just you wait. So, being rich not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now let me tell you about my father. My father... My father was a great man. He... Everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father... My father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see? I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a second. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a song shot eyeball. They're extra gloppy. Right, right, right. Talk to me. Oh, yes. I mean, no. I didn't mean... Listen here! All right, Lusum. The gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. Killadilla Walker! One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Oh, surprised? Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner. Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Now, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do, and you're just a stupid little loosome puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosome puppet. Goodbye!
Ransom, you read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is, Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. Loose him. I found a tank. Predator. Authority. That's the ticket. The Project Dagger Predator tank. If we get that up and running, we'll be good to go. Under our feet this whole time. Standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel, so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup! Formation! Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon! We're taking you down! Damn it! I should have done this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the Predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office, and we'll talk. What have you got? So, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now. With Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too. Prepping the Predator tank will take a while. In the meantime, I suggest you get busy with my operation to clear out the roads and make it safer out there. That'll create more opportunities for projects. Good luck out there. Hey, Walker. Loose him here. I got some news for you. Good and bad. Lay it on me. Well, the tank we liberated from Clayton's creepy dungeon, it don't run. But I think I have a solution. I'll swing by your office. What have you got? So, what do you got for me, Hagar? The Feltrite fission cores have been stripped from all the old machines. Clegg must have used them to power his idiotic tower. We need another power supply if we want that tank to run. You mentioned some good news? Yeah, the gizmo you planted worked like a charm. Listen to this, straight off of Clayton's computer. I am at my rope's end with you, Clayton. I have been more than patient. I have given you endless support, yet you have not delivered on your end. I am beginning to think that Clegg Clayton is not the powerhouse of a man he claims to be. I shall give you one last chance to explain. Consider yourself summoned. Go to the Goliath plant. There you will receive further instructions. That voice. That conceited goddamn zombie relish. I'd know it anywhere. Did we get the coordinates? Please tell me you got the coordinates. That we did. It's an area called Twin Falls, a bandit roost currently held by the Goon Squad. 
I'm starting to think these low-rent thugs are in deep with the authority. Would explain all that impressive equipment. If this Goliath plant is any kind of authority base hidden under some bandit hideout camouflage, then I bet we can find all the felt fission cores we need there. You read my mind. I'll follow the coordinates and see what I can dig up. Good luck, Walker. Watch your back. Lily. This place has a bad vibe to it. Like Mom would have said, Rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. Okay, Lusum, I'm here at Twin Falls. Keeping my eyes peeled for any signs of authority presence. All right, let me know if you find anything. Anything? Nope, not yet. I'll keep looking. There's some kind of gate opening leading into the mountain. Bet this is it. Yeah, I'm going in to find out. Look at that. Clegg Clayton's little chopper.
up. Uh, okay, let's just get this fission core and get the hell out of here. Place gives me the creeps. Uh, I'm gonna need a little of that back of you so generously promised. A little extra something, something for me. And I have been more than patient with you, Mr. Clayton. If you cannot deliver Wellspring to me, then I will have to take it by force. Hey, hey, we have a deal, Cross. Let me remind you that I will let you in as soon as I take the mayor's seat. Oh, your little dream of becoming mayor. I appreciate your dedication, Mr. Clayton, but let me assure you that was never going to happen. You made me a promise. <laughs> you lied to me. To Clay Clayton, you lied. I would have preferred to take Wellspring quietly, but Blood and Thunder will have to do. But I am Glenn Clayton! Aim away from his face. I want to preserve his what, what, cadaverism what? What? memento. No, I, I can go for whatever he's paying you. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, you could have been the richest mutant in the wasteland. Oh, no! Get across.
there. They'll try fish. Is it like nasty? Got the power to reach it. other one. are down. Let's grab the core and go. Copy? Lost you there for a while. What you got? Well, I got the fission core. Also, Fled Clayton is dead. You killed him? No. General Cross gave the order via video upload. Those armless freaks just gunned him down. But Clegg was working for Cross. Was being the key here. Cross was none too happy with Clegg's lack of progress. He was backing him to become mayor and open the gates of Wellspring for his hordes. Which explains the assassination attempt. Well, yeah. Cross grew sick of waiting. Figured Clegg took him for a ride. He's coming for your city now, Mayor. Not if we come for him first. Bring me that vision core and we'll get the Predator tank up and running. Dagger is bringing this war to Cross's doorstep. What have you got? Agar, I got the Feltrite Fission Core. So we can finally get the Predator tank up and running. Good news, Walker. The Predator tank is a go. Mean, lean, and beautiful. Now we're just lacking one final ingredient. Find John Marshall of Gun Barrel. He has the puzzle piece we need to get Dagger up and running. I'm on it. <laughs> 